Hello and welcome to Launch Code Decoded, where we go behind the scenes of the hottest tech events, products, and services. Today, I am joined by Elaine from Greenforce XR. Hey, Elaine, it's so great to see you. Hello, Megan. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to have you here today. So for those who aren't familiar, tell us a little bit about Greenforest XR. Yeah, Greenforest XR, we are a mixed reality uh, platform that allows neurodivergent children to develop critical skills through creative and immersive gameplay. So we're a startup. We just started out recently, uh, but we've been we've actually been doing this in classrooms for almost two years now. So uh, it informed our product and the kids really helped build it. <laughs> so how did the company I mean, I know you just gave us a little bit about it, but how did the company actually get started? Uh, it was a bit of a mix. So my husband and I, who's my co-founder, um, he's always been really passionate about emerging tech. So by trade, he's a designer um, and kind of that creative technologist side. Sidebar, we we met uh, at EA Sports. So we both come from gaming. So that was our, our baseline. And, you know, in the past few years, he's just really been involved in our school district and teaching kids um creativity, if you will, but through emerging tech. And so we've been figuring out this model, this business, but really it was a passion through seeing what technology actually allows children to um, just get engaged with in, in whether it's the curriculum, um, anything that they're trying out, like it just, it just blows their mind. <laughs> I love that they've been involved in the creation. So you're, you know, you have a whole classroom full of testers to make sure the product is actually going to work for them and it's what they need. Mm -hmm. So you guys are exhibiting at AWE in Long Beach this year. What brings you to the show? So yeah, we're actually exhibiting because one, we have um, our first immersive experience, our first story through the Meta App Lab. It's called Mars Roven. Uh, and it was really informed through the classroom setting. So it was created to supplement um, a challenge class, a challenge program that they were running and they were learning about Mars and uh, the planets. And so we created this program to supplement what they were learning. And really what they get to do is drive a Mars rover on the different trains. They learn about the different trains. They learn about facts about Mars, the rover, and then it's also just fun. So like I said, there's a component of this where they've always informed kind of the gameplay and some of the mechanics. And so one thing we learned is that whatever you ask them to do, whatever you're building it for, they will try to do the exact opposite. So it allows for that. <laughs> I love that. What other solutions are you gonna have on display? Uh, so we're going to have some fun stuff. We're actually building through it. I think we're, um, so I think our whole thing, and we talked a little bit about this in the article, but it's about blending kind of the physical with the digital. So we'll have some physical items as well that represents kind of, you know, a feel and a touch. If we talk about neurodivergent, like there's different ways to approach learning. Um, so we'll have some things at our booth to play around with. We're going to have, uh, I don't want any spoilers, mainly because I hope it's developed in time. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to have some fun mixed reality uh, kind of experiences at our booth. It's going to be tiny. We're at the startup booth, but we're going to make it work. <laughs> awesome. And why should attendees visit your booth? Uh, just to... Uh, one, connect. I'm also a big connector. I love meeting new people. I think that's the part that I'm most excited about. Uh, I looked at the list of exhibitors as well. I'm going to be walking around because um, I think there's some really cool companies out there that are doing really cool things. Uh, just, I guess, supporting one another through the ecosystem and, and getting to know what's out there and all the, all the cool stuff that's happening. 
Yeah, we've done several of these interviews where people have mentioned that it feels just really like a family reunion at the show and it's such a great <laughs> community and it's perfect for networking. So I think you'll have a lot of success there. You guys are going to be in booth S8. If people want to learn more about you or Green Force XR, where can they find that information? Uh, our website, we're continually updating it, but our website is um, greenforest.io. So visit us there. You can also you know, um, drop a message. And if you want some time to meet up, can totally do that as well. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that's the main spot. Um, we have an Instagram account too. It's a mix of what we do in the classrooms and also our product right now. Uh, so it's just Green Forest XR on Instagram. Awesome. So be sure to check them out at AWE 2024 in booth S8. Thanks to all of you for tuning in today. In the meantime, we'll catch you on the next episode of Launch Code Decoded and check out launchcode.com for all of the latest AWE 2024 news. Thank you.